Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I own the Water Filter eStore and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about um, when you get a blank screen on a Clack WS1 water softener. Now, any blank screen on any electronic device is always cause for concern. So, um, so let's follow the procedure to check it out to troubleshoot this problem. Like most things on a Clack WS1 valve, super easy to troubleshoot and uh, so let's uh, jump right in. So the first thing is the obvious thing. Is it, is it plugged in? Is it plugged into an outlet that's always on, okay? Or is it an outlet that is occasionally switched off with other outlets? or um, electrical light fixture or something like that. So double check to make sure that that outlet is always on. So assuming we do have power to it, then uh, let's go inside the valve and see what's going on. So there's two little tabs on each side that you can remove the faceplate, like so. And uh, so you see there's three um, connections that have wires going to them at the bottom of the circuit board. So you wanna undo the second one from the right. It actually has the, says 12 volts AC beside it. And then what you want to do is get uh, just a basic um, electrical uh, voltage tester like this one here. And uh, so we'll try to test this in a way that you can see it <clears throat> on camera while we're doing this. So one side you'll notice there's a black wire. So you want to put uh, the black lead or the common lead to that side. And then you want to put the red on the other side. And there, as we can see that it's, it's reading voltage there, 15.9 volts. <clears throat> so this is a low power circuit. It's not 110 volts uh, going to this. The transformer steps down the voltage. So that tells us that the transformer is working. Okay, once we know that the transformer is working, then we can plug this back in. And if it uh, lights up the way it does right now, that means we're done. We're great, everything's good. But chances are um, that's, that won't be the situation. If the transformer's working, then that means the circuit board's defective and the circuit board needs to be replaced. So um, when you look to replace a circuit board on a Clack WS1 water softener, then um, what you need to do is make sure that you check and see how the buttons are configured on yours. And that identifies which circuit board you need. Some of them have five buttons like this one. Um, that are three of the, at the top row and two in the second row. Some of them are five across, some of them are four buttons, some of them are three buttons. So you need to check that out and make sure you order the right one for your um, water softener. So this flashing here just tells you that the time needs to be reset. And uh, now to make sure this never happens again, you need a surge suppressor. You need to plug this electronic device into a surge suppressor like this one here, this is a very inexpensive one. Make sure it's not just a power bar, make sure it actually says surge suppressor. Um, because what causes this, uh, the, the problem with the circuit board or the transformer is power surges. And, uh, and what that can do is it can ruin the circuit board and or the um, transformer. So this applies for any Clack WS1 valve, be it a water softener, be it an iron filter, tannin filter, whatever, they're all the same. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified about all the new videos. They become available on our channel. And if you want some more info, go to our website, either thewaterstoremidland.com or thewaterfiltereastore.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.